Okay, good afternoon. We're going to do uh, systems of equations by graphing today. I had you pre-do uh, four graphs because we're going to be graphing on, on all four of those graphs. Um, can you see this all right on the board? Yeah, sort of showing up. All right, I'll be doing everything on the overhead today because it's a lot of ridiculous stuff. My face is, is my face showing up on this, Jada? No. I'm good. I, I just don't want you to be like, okay, so today, this is what. Now you're waiting. <laughs> yes, today. What page is 4.1? No. Like oh, so I don't know what page it was. I guessed. Is in section so can you tell me what page this should be? So copy down this system. Y equals negative 2x minus. Just let me know when you when you find it, Jada. Jada. Let me know when you find it, Janae. Yeah. All right, so this... 143. Thank you. All right, so this is called a system of equations. A system of equations is two or more. We're only going to be dealing with two for right now. You guys shouldn't have to worry about three or four or plus. So, so for, for your purposes, it's two equations. Uh, and we're going to look at these equations together. What type of equation is this? It's, it's slope-intercept form. That's the form it's in. What, what type is this? This is a linear equation, which means when I graph this, it's going to be a straight line with a negative slope and an intercept of 2. How many solutions does this equation have? An infinite an infinite, infinitely many, meaning when we graph it, all of the ordered pairs on that line are solutions, all of them, okay? This is a different equation. It's a different line. This has its own infinite set of solutions. Okay, so each of these have their own infinite sets of solutions. What we're looking for today is we're looking for the, where, where they uh, intersect, where both of these have the same solution. And it's only going to be in one spot. And we're looking for that spot. And there's three ways to do this. We're going to learn this uh, this week. The three methods are, first, we're going to use graphing. Uh, tomorrow, we will look at substitution. And then, if we have time, uh, before PSAT, we'll do elimination. Elimination is probably... Substitution's the best. Graphing is the easiest for you guys so far because you already know how to graph equations. Substitution the, is the best. This one's the easiest. Elimination is useful, but only in certain situations. So if we don't get to that, no big deal. All right, you had a question, Hanny? How do you know it's what? How do you know it's linear? We know it's linear because it has two variables. They're different variables. Uh, and they don't have any squares. Remember, if there's a square, it curves. Um, and x is not in the denominator. Yeah. Not all of them. It could be quadratic. It could be cubic. It could be exponential. Those are all nonlinear functions. You haven't learned them yet. Um, coming up soon, we will be learning exponential functions. You've seen them. We've studied them. We just haven't studied the equations to them yet. And we haven't really graphed them yet. All right, so this is a system of equations. We're looking for the solution that is a solution to both of these equations at the same time. All right, so we're going to graph them to find that solution. The, f the most important thing for today's lesson is that we need to put them in slope-intercept form. They need to be in slope-intercept form. Now, do they have to be in slope-intercept form to graph? No, we learned how to graph in standard form, and we learned how to gra graph in point-slope form. But for today's purposes, we're just always going to put it in slope-intercept form, and that'll just be uh, the rule we follow for now. All right. So these are already in slope-intercept form, so we don't have to change them. We're ready to graph. So we're going to go ahead and graph. So please uh, 
get out that first draft that you guys made. And somebody stole my graph paper. I'll just use this one, it's fine. Um, is this grid showing up on the video? You can actually see the grid lines? I can't see it. I can't. On the video? No? I know you can see it up here. Can you see it on the video? Can you see the grid lines? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. We'll use this then. Maybe if I darken it a little bit. Is that better? A little bit? All right. Okay, so the first, the first equation is uh, y equals negative one third x plus two, and the second one was y equals negative two x minus three. I'm gonna graph the first one in red. If you guys want to use colored pencils or highlighters, that's fine. Just make sure when you're using them, uh, you do it in pencil first in case you make a mistake. That way you can erase, and then once we're finished, you can shade it in all right all right so i'm going to graph this top equation it's ready to graph it's in slope intercept form where do i start at the y intercept of two right there okay. graphing this red one and then my slope is negative one third which means down one right three good afternoon teachers students and staff uh, before we start dismissing to this pep rally we need to stress to our staff that to check students to make sure they have a ticket. No student should leave your classroom without a ticket. If they lost their ticket or have any other explanation for why they don't have their ticket, they are to remain in class. Students purchase tickets and only students with tickets. This should really not take 30 seconds to explain. Time. Additionally, any teachers. I apologize, YouTube. This is public education. Welcome to the jungle. It's all fun and games. I'm not editing it. I'm going to show YouTube how awful it is to be a public education teacher. Imagine a day of public school where you would just have all learning and no interruptions. Imagine that world. You're going to get fired for this. They're not going to fire me for this. I'm telling the truth. All right, how many of you guys have tickets? If you are oh, my tag sweet, seven, sweet. Tag seven, you may go as well. Tag seven and have a seventh grade for seven. If you have it, hey, do I got to babysit you guys? If you don't have a ticket, do not leave my room. If you have a ticket, you're free to go. Bye. Have a nice whatever y'all are doing. Hey, if you guys, if you guys uh, are leaving, why are you still on the other oh. If you guys are leaving, watch the video later, okay? Bye. I don't care, just leave. I'm not gonna be interrupted again, go. Go have fun at the pep rally. You know, learning's optional here. Learning's optional if we pay a dollar. Learning's optional as long as we pay a dollar. You guys literally paid a dollar just to not be in class. I know what y'all do. Bye. 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 See, I knew it. This is. I don't want to play. I'm gonna play this video for like someone else. Like I'm gonna show this to Miss Fundy and be like, this is how much time was wasted for this announcement. I did check. Uh, I checked all the tickets. 
Every single one. I have how many witnesses? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 12 witnesses. Did I check for the tickets? Yes. See? Am I a good teacher? Yes. Do I deserve a raise? Yes. Am I the most handsome math teacher that ever lived? Yes. <laughs> Is my beard that of Nordic gods? Yes! Okay. Oh, and I'll get back to It used to be. Did you guys ever see the videos last year of my beard? Ah! You're still going! Alright, let's have let's let's all move up front. I wanna feel like a small knit community. They said seventh and then others six six thing. Move up close so we can all be like totally like close to the board. I like I like having my face. We're gonna have the best class ever now. Hey, put your cell phones away. Put them away. Hey, stop fighting. No fight. Stop. No. Amaka, stop punching David in the face. <laughs> Amaka, you know better. You are not allowed to assault other students. Hey, is that drugs I see? Yeah. Put that drugs away. <laughs> drugs, no, oh, is that a samurai sword? There's no samurai swords. <laughs> You know what I always say, no drugs, no weapons, not in school. <laughs> We're not in school. <laughs> All right. We are totally down to like 12 kids. systems of equations. Yeah. 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 Right. I really I really don't care. It's up to you. Dealer's choice. Alright, let's continue. Alright, so this part's this part's kind of important, so let's uh, jump back into it here. Alright, so do you see how I started at two and then I went down one and right three? Yes. Okay. At this point can I draw my line? Yeah. Yeah. But the problem is what all right, watch what I do. I don't want to draw the line yet. I want to continue this pattern. So I went down one. If you do the line, it's fine. Just, just watch what I'm doing. If I go down one and right three, I can keep doing that. Down one, right three. And you can see that my line is forming whether I draw it or not, right? And I want to continue with the other direction also. I want to go up one, left three, up one, left three. And you can see the lines there, and I haven't actually drawn it. So even if you don't have a straight edge, you can at least get the gist of the line you want. Now, this is important because we're going to be looking to see where the lines intersect. And if I have all of these coordinates, I know those coordinates are exactly on the line. If I drew my line with just those two points, I might have drawn it a little bit crooked. So it's better to have a point than it is to actually draw the line. All right, so there's, there's my equation, y equals negative one-third x plus 2. All right, I will draw the line, but I'm going to wait a little bit, all right? I'm going to first plot my other line. So what's my y-intercept of this equation? Negative 3. Negative 3. What's my slope? Negative 2. Negative 2 over? 1. Okay. So that means I start at negative 3, and I'm going to rise down to right one. Now if I keep going that way, am I moving towards or away from the red line? If I keep going this way, I'm moving away from the red line, right? So don't worry about going that direction. I want to go the other way. So I'm going to go up to 
left one. And I'm gonna keep this pattern up until I cross that red line. And what happens is I actually cross the red line on one of those dots. So do you see why I continued that pattern? Aha! All right. So now that you've crossed, now you're gonna go ahead and draw your, uh, your lines out. So this is the equation y equals negative two x minus three. <coughs> and this is the equation y equals negative one third x plus two. And where do these equations intersect? What is this intersection point? Negative three, three. This is the answer to my system. All right, now let's talk about what that answer means in a second. First of all, this is called the point of intersection. There are three types of solutions. There is one solution, no solution, and infinite solutions. Which one of those is this? One solution. Okay, good, so this is one solution. So on a test, or on a homework, or on a classwork, what am I looking for for the end result? What is it that I wanna put in the answer box? I wanna put negative three comma three. This is my solution here. Right. What does this mean? This means that the point that when x is negative 3 and when y is positive 3, that is going to satisfy both of these equations. So what if I plugged in the, these two coordinates into the first equation? What is one, negative 1 third times negative 3? positive 1. And what is 1 plus 2? 3. And y would be 3. You see how that fits? And what is uh, negative 2 times negative 3? And 6 minus 3 is 3. You see how that fits? So this coordinate is, the solution, is a solution to both of these equations. And it's the only one that fits both equations. So this point right here, what is this the solution to? The first, the red, the first equation. What about this point? The red one. What about this one? The blue or the second? This one? What about this? Both. And that's what we're looking for, is the one that's a solution to both. Yes? So when you check if it's the answer by going back to the equations, do you have to do each point corresponding to so if we wanted to check and make sure this actually is the solution, we would plug this point into both equations. The negative 3 would go in for x, and the 3 would go in for y. All right, let's do the next one. We'll call this example 2. Here's my system. x minus y equals 2. X equals negative two. All right, so this is a little bit different, but it's still uh, a system of equations. This one's a linear equation, and this one's actually a vertical line, right? All right, so we're gonna graph these. Uh, but I can't graph the first one yet because it's not in slope-intercept form, so I need to change this to slope-intercept form. How do I change x minus y equals 2 in slope intercept form? Subtract. Subtract x from both sides. And then I get negative y equals negative x plus 2. And then how do I get rid of that negative? I multiply both sides by negative 1, or I divide both sides by negative 1. Both will do the same thing. So this becomes y equals positive x plus 2. What? Best friend is a good way to even know your best friend. <laughs>
Mr. Bush don't like you guys. He literally came over to me earlier today and said, tell your fifth mod that I hate all of them. And I said, that's kind of rude. And he was like, you tell him. I said, all right. He loves Uh-huh. All right. So look, this equation here, we have rewritten it into slope-intercept form here. Okay, so these are the same equations. They're just in different forms. This one does not need to be changed because we can graph x equals negative 2, no problem. All right, so let's graph. I'm going to write my equations down on this graph. I have y equals x plus 2 and x equals negative 2. All right. X equals negative 2 is easy. How do I graph that? Josh? Uh, negative 2 on the x-axis. Very good. Negative 2 on the x-axis, and it's just a vertical line. So this is x equals negative 2. All right, now i got to graph y equals x plus 2. What is my y-intercept? It's 2. And what is my slope? 0 times x is 0. 1. And how do I write 1 as a rise over run? 1 over 1. So look, my slope here is 1 over 1. So I'm going to go up 1, right 1. I'm going the wrong way, right? So instead, I'm going to go down 1, left 1. Down 1, left 1. Down 1, left 1. <coughs> Why am I doing this wrong? This looks very much correct. Hold up. Oh, that's what I did wrong. That's what I did wrong, sorry. Go back up here. When I divide negative one into two, what should this be? Negative yeah. two. Thank you. I thought I did something wrong. Thank you. Next time that happens, please call it out so I don't screw it all up. So I'm start, I should be starting at uh, negative 2. So this is all wrong. Sorry, guys. I know. All right, so I should be starting at negative 2, and I should be going down 1 right there, down, 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 right there. Okay, boom. So there's my boom. Boom. All right, so this is the equation y equals x minus 2, and this is the equation x equals negative 2. Where do they intersect? That's the point, negative 2, negative 4, which is how many solutions? <coughs> One solution. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. Muy bien. Oh, stop it. Dora the Explorer, please. She barely does anything right. I wish I had a magical backpack. Yeah, you know why Dora the Explorer is an awful cartoon? Because it shows a lack of parenting, lack of, a lack of supervision. Literally, it's just a little a little girl who wanders around all by herself with no with no supervision. Did anyone notice? With a wild animal. Yeah. And that little girl knows way too much information. I'm starting to think that maybe she's not, you know, seven. She's probably at least forty-two. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fan, Dora. I'm confused. Wait, yeah, what? Like, what did I do? Yeah. You're not ready? Because I can't. <laughs> 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 you can't come over here. Yeah, and negative two. Negative two. Yours is like negative something else. That's negative two. 
Oh. oh my goodness, Mr. Miner! Alright, three. Alright, enough of this delinquent Dora. Alright, you guys are ready for the hard ones. All right, so here we have a system of equations. And what do we notice about this system? They are not in slope-intercept form. So the first thing you should do is, is convert these into slope-intercept form. I'm going to do that over here. Negative 2x minus y equals 1. And I have negative 6x equals 3y plus 3. I'm going to solve each one for y. So let's do this first one. What do I do first to get this isolated for y? You guys are just guessing. Yeah. Add 2x. Yeah. Add 2x to both sides. Yeah. All right. Can't slow down. We don't have time for arts and crafts. You're going to have to do that later. All right, so this is negative y equals 2x plus 1. And now i got to get rid of that negative. Now, here's a trick. We like to speed things up, right? So to get rid of a negative on a variable like this, just change the sign of every term. So this turns into y equals negative 2x minus 1. That's essentially that multiplying part. by uh, negative 1. All right. So here we go. First equation, donezo. Donezo. All right, here we go, second equation. All right, the y's on the wrong side, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn my equation around right at the beginning, so I'm gonna write it backwards. I'm gonna write it as three y plus three equals negative six x. Okay. All right, and we're gonna subtract three, thank you, Joshua. And I get three y equals negative 6x minus 3. And now I'm going to do what? Divide by 3. Very good. Okay. This becomes y equals negative 2x minus 1. Oh my goodness! Look at that holy cazoli. All right, so what's going to happen when I graph these equations? Same thing. Same thing. So what, what, are they going to, what are the two lines going to do? They're going to, they're going to overlap. Now the question is, when two lines overlap, how many ordered pairs do they have in common? Infinite. All of them. So here, I ran out of graph paper, so I'm going to sketch this graph. But you guys should do this on graph paper, okay? So we're going to graph this. We're going to start at negative 1. And we're going to go down to right one. And this is the line. What should I label this line with? What equation, what equation should, I, should I label this line with? I could label it with y equals negative 2x minus 1. What I'd rather you label it with is both of these. So negative 2x minus y equals 1. Negative 6x equals 3y plus 3. And if you're feeling froggy, go ahead and, go ahead and plot this equation on there too. y equals negative 2x minus 1. Now, the reason I put all three there is not because I want you to do that every time. I'm just showing you that all three of those equations are the same line. All right. Now, have I answered the question? No. What is the answer to my question? Infinity. Infinite. So we write an infinity symbol. That's our answer. Now, this means infinitely many. Can anyone explain to me the difference between infinite and infinitely many solutions? Kamaka? Infinite is like everything. But infinitely many is only the things that are included in the equation. 
Very good explanation. All right, so. All right, so for example, is this a solution down here? Is this a solution? 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 All of the ordered pairs on this line are solutions, right? Yes. And how far does this line go? Forever. Forever. Infinity. So it's all of those on the line forever, but not everything, right? Okay. This is my answer, infinitely many. So what, let's look at the equations. How do we know, looking at the equations, that this is infinitely many? Oh, because they're the same. The same equation. When it's the same equation, it's the same line, it's infinitely many solutions. All right. Last example. Example four, yeah. Three. you no. are so pretty. Oh, that's weird. Example four, Mr. you have. Oh. 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 Did you say you have diabetes? <laughs> <laughs> diabetes rhymes with pretty, huh? Okay. You know how I say diabetes? I always say the diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> you ever see those commercials with the insulin shots, and they're always it's always some old like southern gentleman, and he's always like, oh, I've had the diabetes since 1942. <laughs> you gotta be careful of them sweets, or you might get the diabetes. All right, so what do we think about these equations? Yeah, ooh, ooh is right. They're not in any type of good form, right? All right, so we got to clean this up. So let's, uh, let's solve these for slope-intercept form. All right, so what do I do first, Josh, since you're my expert? Uh, Come on, Josh. You've got to take away eight. Yeah, buddy. You got to take away eight. I don't know why I'm in such a singing mood. You know what it is? Is Half of you guys are gone, so it's literally like a normal <laughs> class size now. Yeah. This is how all classes should be, 12 kids. This is nice. Don't you just feel like you could... So much more room for activities. Imagine if I only had 12 desks in here. We could like run laps up in this place. All right. We're not done. Josh, what's next? You take away X. Minus X. All right. From now on, Josh is my uh, slope-intercept form expert. All right. Minus 2Y. Hold on. Let's see if Josh can finish this. I don't know. I don't want to. Josh, what do I do next? By, by negative two. Josh, you are on point, my dude. All right, for extra credit and for the home run, uh, walk off home run. Josh, what is the next part of this equation? For the grand slam, my man. All right, uh, we got. You got. Okay, four. I got it, I got it. Four minus, um, four plus, oh wait, one half x, one half, a half of x plus four. Boom! Grand slam! Way to go, Josh. One half x plus four. No calculator. Good job, Josh. All right, so where did we get a half an x from? There's, there's an invisible one here, right? What's a negative divided by a negative? Positive. So this is positive 1x over 2, which is the same thing as 1 half x. Yes, it is. All right, let's do this one. Josh, my man. All right, who else wants to be my expert? All right, go ahead. Destiny, a.k.a. Kristen, a.k.a. Crystal, a.k.a. no one knows your, your three names, not even your parents. All right, go ahead. Plus 6, okay. She lives on a farm in South Dakota. All right, don't distract her. All right. What's next, Destiny? Divide by negative two, muy bien. Okay, Destiny, what does this give us? 
I can't hear you. Y equals one half x. Oh, that's x plus three. Negative. Oh, no, minus three. Plus negative three or no. minus three. Yes. yes. Very good. All right, now, can you guys look at these two equations and tell me what you see? Almost the same thing. Almost the same thing. What's the same? Uh, the slope. Okay, no. what's different? The no. no. y-axis. Right. So if you have two lines that cross the y-axis in different points and they have the same slope, what can we say about those two lines? They're parallel. Parallel, son. <laughs> I like the dance. <laughs> I like Josh when there's no one else messing with him. Josh, you're a good dude. As long as there's 12 people. All right. All right, Joshua. This one I'm going to do in red. This one I'm going to do in blue. Josh, you're such a good dude. All right, so the, the red one, the, the red one I'm going to start at four. Starting at four. And I'm going to rise one and run two. So this is the, now I don't need to do the pattern for these because we know they're parallel, right? So there's my uh, x minus 2y plus 8 equals 0. And then the other one I'm starting at negative 3. And I'm rising 1 and running 2. And it should be parallel to this one. Say that again. How do we know there's no solution? So, have I answered the question? No. All right, so yeah. no solution looks like this. It's a zero with a slash through it. And then we can write no solution. All right, any questions? I'm about to end the old video. All right, everybody say bye. Bye.